Good evening. This is CTV News for Friday, January 22nd. I'm Denise Douglas. Thank you for joining us. We've been talking about it for almost a week, but the big day is here. Snow soon will start falling in the D.C. metro area. CTV Sonia Shravasva is in Largo with some last minute tips on surviving the blizzard. Well, the countdown has begun. The snow is just a few hours away, and I'm here at the Largo Town Center where you can see that the parking lot is completely packed. Folks have been coming in and out, picking up those last-minute items here from the grocery store. We've been talking to some of the folks out here, and they tell us that they are ready for what's about to come. Well, coming up from Chicago, uh, you know, born and raised, so it's, it's, this out here is kind of a joke to me. So, I mean, people, you know, getting out, gassing out, picking out the uh, all the all the eggs and, and bread and milk and everything else it's it's just snow actually I went shopping for my neighbors some church members a little, uh, elderly couple I had called them on the way to Kaiser asked them did they need anything so you're from Jamaica and this is your first real time seeing snow first real time seeing snow are you excited well, it's a bit exciting, you know, but as I said before, you know, we're all open for the best at the end of the day, you know, for each and every one. Now, here is a snowstorm checklist. Experts say withdraw cash from the ATM beforehand, especially in case there is a widespread power outage. Always have a first aid kit handy and make sure that you refill your prescriptions for at least a week's supply. Now, you should also have a battery powered flashlight or lantern if the power goes out. Avoid using candles, and now if you do use them, never leave them alone. You should also have a portable cell phone charger, the kind that will work without electricity. Have a battery-powered carbon monoxide detector as a backup. You should also have a battery-powered radio, and we can't emphasize enough, but stock up on those batteries. And have a supply of drinking water and food for at least three days. And if you need water for other things, it's a good idea to fill up the bathtub. Now, if you have a pet, first of all, you need to bring them inside. Don't forget those supplies. Now, if you do have to be out there on the roads, AAA recommends that you have a mini kit, essentially, that includes a blanket, food, jumper cables, a charger for your car. And, of course, keep that patience going. In Largo, I'm Sonia Shivasva. Back to you all in that warm studio. Thank you for those tips. Very good information. AAA also says do not abandon your car during a storm because it may be the only shelter you have before you are actually rescued. So the big question for many businesses is what kind of economic impact will the blizzard of 2016 leave behind? Over at Mitchellville Plaza, many establishments are closing early today. At Shazi Salon, the stylists are rushing to finish their customers. Many say they worry about how much money they will lose since they will have to close Saturday as well, which is typically a very busy day. No income. No income. It really affects us hard. It hit us hard because when the weather is bad, we can't come out, so there's no clients. So it affects us uh, with the snow and all that. We get affected and we get hit hard. A Pennsylvania-based business that analyzes outcomes for companies predicts that the economic damage from the storm will range between $350 and $700 million in terms of loss in productivity and consumer spending. The Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority is shutting down its services early. Latifa Majid is in New Carrollton with more. That's right. Well, everyone's making preparations for this blizzard, which means a lot of places will be closing down early, including Metro, whose train services will stop at 11 o'clock tonight, and the bus services will stop even earlier at 5 o'clock. So if you have to get on here, you have to make sure that you get here early so that you won't have a problem making it home. Metro's early closures are prompting many riders to cut their trips short, including pro-life activists from Ohio who say they still plan to participate in the annual March for Life rally to the Supreme Court despite a state of emergency in the district and a blizzard warning across the metro area. came from Gallup Police, Ohio. It's down by West Virginia and Kentucky, and we're going to leave a little early to play it safe and get back home safely. But that's, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's good. Even though there's a snowstorm, we knew it was going to be here. We came anyway. It would prove a good point. When do you guys plan on traveling out? We're hoping to get back on the road about 1. We're going to do a quick walk and then go ahead and leave early because we're going back home into the storm too. So, 
How long of a drive is it? You guys drove here? How long of a drive is that? Uh, I think it's about an eight hour drive. We stop, you know, here and there, so it might be a little longer. Driving in the middle of it, probably. Yeah, we're concerned. We're either going to be in a ditch or driving. <laughs> You guys want to maybe stay an extra night just to kind of bypass? It? No, we got priests with us. We'll just say prayers all the way down the road. Now, Metro's paratransit service for disabled customers will stop running after 6 o'clock tonight, so the best place for you to be during this storm is inside the comfort of your own home. In New Carrollton, I'm Latif Majid, CTV News. Metro access services will remain suspended on Saturday and Sunday. Lowe's, having all mentioned all those items that uh, we said before was great, but what if the store is out of the essentials like snow melt or you don't have enough or run out of it? We talked to a local home improvement expert at the Lowe's in Largo about other products you can use instead to provide traction on icy sidewalks and driveways. There's a couple different things. Obviously, everybody uh, knows what water softener is for hard water that you put in your tank. Now, that could be used. Obviously, it's not specifically made for that, but it does help melt the ice. One of the big things with that, though, is obviously when it's done and there's anything left on your concrete or your driveway, you need to go ahead and sweep it off. Um, but obviously, sand, uh, even kitty litter or anything like that will help at least get some traction down, uh, help you from slipping. We'll get, you know, it'll be a little messy, but it'll definitely help. Pepper says when buying a shovel first, make sure it has a handle and he recommends buying one that has a bend in it because it's better for your back. Pepper says when the snow gets heavy, don't try to shovel a foot at a time. He advises starting at the top layer and chipping away at it. Sounds like more good advice and you're watching CTV News. I'm Denise Douglas.